Hey Simlays, it's Deligrissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Part 55. In the last part we had Desmond and Liberty's wedding, which is really exciting. It was a really nice wedding. Um, and when I went into my game, for some reason, we no longer have dining chairs. Um, I don't know. It took me back to Ashton and Xavier's house where we started, even though I saved it. I'm, I'm, I swear I remember saving it. So I've just remarried them. Um, so everything's back to normal. But we do need to age up Desiree. It is her birthday. And um, not Desmond's birthday. Desiree's birthday. She's going to age up any minute now. So I thought what we'd actually do is because she's probably going to age up in any second. We might get Cody. He doesn't have a lot of life left. His bar's sparkling. So I'm going to make him make a birthday cake for her. A really nice birthday cake. Um, let's do a white and black cake for her. Actually, I'm going to get just a white normal cake. No, let's do, let's do a chocolate cake. No, wait. <laughs> I know I'm being annoying. Doesn't it say Cody's special chocolate cake? Yeah, Cody's signature chocolate cake. Um, Cause he's gonna pass away really soon. He might pass away in this episode, like he probably will. So um, let's get him to make that and then we'll age her up with that cake. So sad. Um, and a lot of you guys were feeling a bit sad too about this because Cody has been in this LP since the beginning and we just love him. He's been a great dad and matriarch of the family. He's a great cook and chef and um, he's executive chef, which is pretty cool. But we better make sure we put those candles on as quickly as possible because otherwise uh, <laughs> he's going to eat the cake. Let's speed things up a little bit. I mean, it's fine. It's three in the morning and they're cooking. Like, what of it? Wouldn't mind getting Trinity up for the occasion. And uh, we might get Carter up too. They're in all fairly good moods. Oops, pause. Do not grab a piece of cake. No one break a piece of cake. Okay, so once everyone's down here, I'm gonna get Desiree to not be in bed, but we're going to blow out the candles. And I know they're in the other house, but you know, it's all right. Is Cody sick? No. Come on, Desiree. Oh, Desiree's sick. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Everybody celebrate. It's Desiree's birthday. It's Desiree's birthday. Celebrate. 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 <laughs> Did she not get those candles blown out? Woo! Yay! <laughs> Desiree aged up. She's a music lover, she's creative, and I would like her to be ambitious. Um, because I think she could do really well in the entertainment <laughs> career. Oh, that was cute! So that's Cody's signature cake. He looks very proud of his little girl. And we're going to get her to give him a hug, although she's not so little anymore. Aww. <laughs> she's just become a young adult and perfect time that he's been able to see his daughter grow up so let's take a piece together and enjoy it <laughs> she really needs to take care of that rush I have to say um, the other idea was that uh, someone said Xavier should paint a picture of these 
of the family, um, which I think is a really ni nice idea. What we might actually have to do, though, is temporarily move him into this house. So I might do that quickly and then we'll move him out again. All right, so a mate just came, which is really good. But Xavier's been temporarily moved into their house so he can do a family portrait of them. Because I thought that was a really, really nice idea. Uh, let's go to creative. Painting quality seven. I didn't realize these actually changed the painting quality. So we want the highest quality uh, possible, of course. And we'll probably get a portrait done... Family portrait on the couch done, maybe. So I'm just going to move a few things around. Oh my gosh, I already know this is going to be really annoying. Come on, Trinity, quickly sit down. Damn it. <laughs> she didn't sit down in time. Oh, and it looks like... What? Oh, I see. So we can only see Desiree at this point. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. I see how I see how it's working. So we need to have. Please work. What? This is the stupidest thing ever. Like you can't. It's impossible to see on the side of the painting. Okay, it's not really the best. But they're in the right spot, so we can get them to hopefully kiss in a second. Let's get them to romance, blow a kiss, woohoo, kiss. And then at the same time, we're gonna get... Oh, 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 quickly, quickly, Xavier! Paint from reference, large painting, quickly! Yay! have a painting it might be a little full on but it does show their love it shows their love all right excellent excellent so they do have a nice picture we'll get some selfies together with um these guys take photo with her dad. Cute. Desiree is so pretty. There we go. That's nice. <laughs> and just have a bit of family time. We might actually... Maybe we should take Cody and Trinity out. Um, on a bit of a date, maybe. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. That painting's beautiful. You keep painting that, Savia. It's looking great. Um, Desiree really needs to have a snoozle. Carter uses the toilet. I wonder how Taylor's going, actually. I should probably invite her over to see how the baby's coming along. But this is looking awesome, Xavier. I mean, Taylor should be here pretty soon. Uh, work starts for Xavier in an hour. This is more important though. Taylor's going to be right over. Is she going to still be pregnant or would she have had the baby? Okay, she's still, she's still preggers. And uh, Liberty is actually in her third trimester, which is pretty crazy. So let's embrace... Oh, she's not having a great time being pregnant, is she? We should maybe ask her to move in. Three, four, five, six, seven. Although we can't have two pregnant sims in one household, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Although when Xavier's out of the house, we can still have kids. Aww. Shamagra. Blurb Barota, Bruhana. 
He has such a low voice, just like his dad. Ask to feel baby. <laughs> She's a lot, a lot like Trinity. She just reminds me of Trinity so much. Oh my gosh, Liberty's way... Liberty seems way bigger than... Like, way, way bigger than Taylor. That's Taylor's stomach. Look at Liberty's stomach. Is that because she might weigh more? Or I, I don't know, but that is redonkulous. <laughs> Seriously redonkulous. And she is off to work. You're off to work, Liberty. I do not think you should go to work in that state, but alrighty. <laughs> alrighty, if you really want. That's cool. Okay, we'll get... Oh, no, Xavier, we don't want you to go to work. I want you to finish this painting. Oh my gosh, is that finished? Oh, we need to create a copy just, just in case. Can anyone else create copies? That is just beautiful. I love it. Frame canvas. And we need to put it up somewhere really nice. Uh, let's see. Let's put it up instead of this one, maybe. Uh, oh, we've already got this one on the other wall there anyway. So let's... Pop it just here above the table. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so I'll move, um, I'm going to move Xavier out. I'll be one sec. Okay, so Xavier's moved out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Taylor is actually having her baby right now. Um, so, um... I don't know what to do. Do we ask to move in while she's having the baby or? This better not screw up having the baby. Oh no, she's not, she's not having a baby. False alarm, false alarm. She's ready to have a baby. Let's just ask her to move in. Yay, she's moving in. How exciting. Trinity is probably like, oh. all right. I feel like Trinity's never been fond of Taylor, probably because it's a reflection of, of what she's like. Um, oh, Luke Harper. He looks nice. Um, so, yep, we'll move her in. What's wrong? Oh, your household exceeds the maximum number of sims. You may only move eight sims in the household. Pregnant sims count as two sims. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so she can't move into the house anyways. Okay. We tried at least, we tried, but I guess that makes sense because then that would have been worse had we moved her in and then her just suddenly not be pregnant. I seriously thought she was having a baby just then. She looked like it. She totally looked like it because Carter was freaking out. I was freaking out. You guys, you guys might've been freaking out. Da -da, da -da, da -da. But she's all good. Okay, everyone in this household is sick, so Carter, you need to go get some medication. Carter, uh, where is a computer? Trinity's computer. We can order some medication off there. Oh my gosh, replace that. Cost a lot of money. And uh, let's uh, order, purchase medicine. Please, 50 simoleons. And then we can take medicine. Yes. Alcha. Or else you'll make Taylor sick and then the baby sick, which we don't want to do. She, I swear she's having a baby right now. And he's just like, oh, bottles up. <laughs> she's having a baby, but she's not having a baby. Oops. I, I don't really know what she's been doing, but she's obviously struggling a little bit. 
The other nice thing is Carter has a copy of the painting valued at 391 simoleons, I suppose, because it's a copy. And Desiree, if we actually, she can have a copy too. So then all, each member of the family have a copy. Is she just playing with the iPad whilst pretty much having a baby? <laughs> this is so funny. I don't understand. Oh, Cody's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> That's quite funny. Taylor, are you, are you going to have the baby right now? She's such a drama queen, I swear. I swear. So Liberty's at work. Desiree and Trinity. Wait, Trinity, are you being rude? Oh no, they're giggling. <laughs> I think she should just go to bed again, Desiree. Carter needs to sleep too during the day, but that's all right. Let's get uh, Trinity to continue writing her book. Oh, is Desiree still sick? Oh, I'm from Home Remedy Hydration. I didn't realize what she made. Something stinks. The co-worker is on hour 17, energy drink 24, and is starting to get ripe in the QA pit. Seeming, seeing as no one is going home anytime soon, Desmond can play this two ways. Whip out the men's body spray or tell foul boy next to him to go wash up. <sighs> oh, it depends. Depends how well you know them, but sometimes you're just going to say in the most polite way possible. Uh, okay, Foul Boy wasn't very happy about that, and he has a performance loss that is small. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's go to sleep, Carter. And Trinity, let's write something. You know, sorry, we shouldn't write anything. We should go out with Cody. Cody's in a fairly good mood. Let's go out somewhere nice. Ask out on date. Cody. We can go somewhere a little bit romantic. Oh, they it would be fun to go to the first place that they met. Um, but I remember it was so hard to get them both there. That was the only thing. Uh, hmm. Just thinking, how do we get there again? We'll try and get there. Let's go to... <laughs> I should really get going now. Yeah, probably because you have to give birth and you can't on our property. <laughs> okay, let's travel with Cody to a quick cabana because that's where the magical tree is, where we can go through to... I'm pretty sure that's where they went together in the first part of this LP. Am I right? I am. If not, it's still a romantic place for them to go. Let's get Trinity to have a look at this magical tree that's over here. She's feeling tense uh, from stale surroundings because she's materialistic. Water the tree. You just have to interact with the tree as much as possible. Chat about roots. Oh, that guy was looking a bit sad. Compliments on leaves. Cody, right now we have to talk to this tree. There we go. Explore. It's closed up again for a second. She's locked in the tree. The circle of life. Woo. Tree adventure. This trunk is a lot bigger than anticipated. It's dark, but somehow not scary. Uh, follow the light. Oh my God. 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 Trinity, come back! Uh, don't explore the tree! Oh. oh my gosh. Plead. Why did 
We can't plead? Oh my gosh. He's on his iPad. Please, plead for Curdy Trinity. Oh, oh no. I'm so sad they didn't get to go on their last date together. Are they are they coming to some kind of agreement right now? At least he's amongst the flowers and Trinity's really nice boots. Someone has already pleaded to the Grim Reaper recently. Cody Wilkins is truly gone. Oh, he's truly gone. No. His eyes are still open. No, they're not. They're closed. Oh my gosh. Oh, Trinity. Oh no. This is so sad. I can't, I can't believe he just died. Huh? How do we... Excuse me. Put in inventory. Very sad widow from losing a true love. Few things are sadder than when spouses are separated by death. <sighs> so sad. She's like, oh, damn. That was her true love? Well, I guess we can take him home. Who's This guy looks strangely like Cody, which is really weird. Oh, that's Callan. No, he doesn't. Let's go home. Oh, I'm like, I'm so sad right now. I, I don't really know what to do. I'm just sad. <sighs> well, he was a great man, Al Cody, and he'll forever be in The Sims' memories. Now Trinity's going to take a bit of a walk, I guess. A beautiful day, but it just seems empty without him. Oh, dear. He was awesome, though, and he had a great career. Oh, she's she's sleeping on the bench. That's even worse. I thought she was going home. Oh, I know, Trin. I know. It's really sad. Well, we're going to have to put the, the special... I don't even know what you call it. The thing where the ashes is in, I can't even think right now I'm that sad. So we're going to have to put that on a mantelpiece. I think Cody will come visit as a ghost. And then I'm not really sure about bringing ghosts back to life or bringing ghosts to a family. But they do come out to visit. So that's nice. I'm so glad <laughs> there are ghosts in The Sims 4. Or else I don't know what I would do. Um, Desiree seems pretty good. I guess she kind of... Was expecting it? I don't know. Let's just put this lounge room back together again. Ugh, because that's nice to make it feel a little bit more like home. And damn, they won't get as good cooking as they used to get either. Which is a shame. Oh. That's Curdy's cake! It's like the last cake he made. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sad times. What's this? Made by Cody Wilkins. Where's his signature cake? We need to go eat the cake. This is when you need to eat your feelings. <sighs> Take a piece. Take a piece. They can eat those together. And we're going to put this. Uh, this, this maybe on the kitchen bench. Is that weird? But he loved being in the kitchen, so I thought that was a good spot. Let's engrave it. Can't wait to see you. Um, great cook. Great dad. And hub. 
great cook, great dad, and oh, and hubby. There we go. upsetting oh well remembering Cody through his signature cake and Cody's still at work but I think I'm gonna end this part right here you guys I hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world. And for Cody's sake, go eat a piece of cake this week. At some point, eat a piece of cake. And, um, you know, with death comes new life and Liberty is expecting. So I'm looking forward to that little bundle of joy joining the Ballantines Wilkins family as the generations go on. Anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, like I just said, and I'll speak to you soon.